I started making this fire and then I decided to record it. I've got underneath here a pine knot. I like to cut these out. I showed that in a, I think a short or something. Um, I like to cut those out so that when you split, you get all of these perfect pieces with no knots instead of getting a whole bunch of knots. And then you can put these pine knots. I'm just going to do one, but they're fat wood in all of these nodules. So each of these, I've showed that before, where you cut these off and there's fat wood inside. So when you burn down into here, you get the fat wood on fire, you know, and so on. So it makes a really good fire base, especially in the winter when you've got wet ground. So if you cut all these knots out, you can put one in the center and some around, you know, and make a good fire base out of them. Um, I'm just making some some shavings to put on top of there and light and just make a backyard campfire but I wanted to show the the concept of burning that on top of there so I'm gonna make some some more feathers out of some of these pieces and then I'll come back all right so I'm back I just made a bunch of shavings I've got my little uh, my pocket rig it's just a, a EDC fixed blade Bark River, and then uh, um, three inch ferro rod that's a, I forget that hex rod, I can't remember that company now. Um, this is a North Star EDC, these are uh, discontinued, but my favorite Bark River, if I sold everything, I would keep that one. Anyway, um, so I've got just these shavings. I'm just gonna spark these, pull this all up, pile everything on top. So we'll see how that goes. It's not very wet or anything like that, so it should be fine. Um, I've actually got, not the, I don't know if you can see them, down inside of there I've got some uh, of those uh, Tinder Quicks, I think they're called, the little orange kind of deals. You get them like in a 50 pack and they go in that that necklace rig that I have too, that's a uh, exotac that goes, that I carry around my neck. So. stuff all up put this away and then we'll start to put some of this other stuff on so I like to lay these in a kind of a back fashion so that so that the height stays so that the air can stay up underneath there even in frame hopefully all right so I'm gonna also put some of these pieces around as these catch these chunks here that catch are gonna be uh, really good uh, coals they'll amber up like crazy I think I showed that in some other video uh, let's see all these pieces that are from the fire I think last night or the night before those pieces will start to become embers and coals. So, all right, that thing's going as expected. And then I'm gonna take and let it get going. I'll pause you, I'll come back, and then I'll probably call it a quits. All right, so that thing's going pretty strong. Uh, let's see if I can see the, the piece in the base or not. this tripod a little bit yeah can't really see that piece up underneath there very good yeah right under there 
So it's a little bit later, and uh, I'm going to add some more wood, but there's that base right there in the center. It's hot down there. Um, so that thing is burning out. You can see the fat wood pieces coming off of it, kind of, or at least I can. I don't know if you can. So, anyway, I'm going to add more wood and some better fire. Thanks for watching.